Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews here, and today I'm going to do a review on the Lego Batman movie set 70919, the Justice League Anniversary Party. This set is 267 pieces and released back in 2018 for the Lego Batman movie. And yeah, this was part of wave 2 for the Lego Batman movie. The first wave released and had some more like basic sets. This one released had a lot more of the builds from the movie. And yeah, it's based off that funny scene where Batman walks in to the um, Fortress of Solitude and uh, all the Justice League is having a party with Adam. I'll, I'll show the clip right now. Are you having the 57th annual Justice League anniversary party without me? No! No, 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 no! But yeah, it's a pretty funny scene. It's a pretty funny set. It comes with um, five ex great exclusive minifigures if you count the dog. But that being said, let's jump right into this. The first minifigure we'll take a look at here is Hawk Girl. And as you can see, she is pretty cool. Um, we've gotten Hawkman before, so they get Hawk Girl back in 2018. It's pretty cool. As you can see, she comes with this helmet that also came with Hawkman as well as the wings, and they're kind of like this thicker plastic. Um, her head is supposed to be like, like um, Batman just walked in, they're kind of like, uh oh. And the other one, um, she looks more happy, and again, she has these wings that's connected to this clear plastic piece here. She also includes another pair of wings that are kind of like folded out, as you can see, like a bit longer. Yeah, then the torso print's amazing. She has great dual molding, as you can see, with some side printing, I really like that carries on and yeah it looks very cool now um, she did have arm printing in the scene so i wish they would include some arm printing with her but nonetheless she's just an awesome minifigure and a very good inclusion to the set and here we have el dorado a character i'm not very familiar with but he's still a great minifigure he's got this awesome like long black hair piece i really like the face they use and like the skin color um the like i like all the printing on there as you can see with the like thicker eyebrows and the more shocked expression he has a happier expression there he has this nice like paper cape as you can see, it's great back detailing. I love the front detailing with all the abs and like kind of like the just the gold like thing around his chest. Also, really like the um, dual molding on the legs as well. As you can see, the printing there. There's no printing on any of the other sides, but it still just looks great. But again, he has arm printing in the movie, so I wish we would have got that. But to get the dual molding is pretty cool. And all around, he's just an awesome minifigure. And here we have Superman. He's a very awesome minifigure as well. The only thing technically exclusive on him is the face print, so that does make him an exclusive minifigure. But as you can see, he has more of like another like kind of embarrassed expression. And on the back, he has a happier expression. I really like the hair piece for him. This is the hair piece, the Superman hair piece with the curl and everything. It's just it's the definitive Superman hair piece. And as you can see, I love the torso print with the S there and the bell. And yeah, no leg printing, but he does have some back printing. And all around, he's just an awesome minifigure. And again, this, this hair is just so perfect for him. And all around, I still really like this minifigure. And here we have Green Arrow, one of my personal favorite DC characters, and he's pretty cool. As you can see, this is more of his comic look, which a lot of people were asking for, so it's cool to get it. And he has this really awesome hat, as you can see. It's in like this dark green. It's like a lighter green feather on top, and just you can, you can put that into there. And um, he's a very cool. As you can see, the face print's awesome. I love the... Uh, you can kind of see a very slight printed goatee on there. Like, it's very... like almost matches the skin tone, but it's there. He also has sideburns printing on, which I really like that, and the mask. Yeah, there's no back head print, because if you just put the hat on, you'd still see it there. And I love the torso print, though, as you can see, as well as the leg printing with dual molding and, like, side printing. that, Or not dual molding, just side printing, but still, it looks great, as you can see. And just the printing carries on with the side. You get a green bow and arrow piece, which I don't think we get that a lot, so it's cool to see that. And I also like the quiver on the back, as you can see. It's an awesome minifigure and definitely my personal favorite of the set. And here we have Wonder Dog, and he's very cool as well. Um, I like how they include this kind of shorter green cape, which we don't get green capes commonly. And then you also, um, you can see that it's like the normal dog piece and like this light blue, which I really like. Love the face printing on the front. I do wish he kind of came with his DJ headset though, because when he was playing on a DJ stand. But nonetheless, he's just very cool and an awesome like little minifigure if you can as one. With all the minifigures out of the way now, I'll show you all like the main features of the set. So as you can see, I love all these like translucent pieces you get with it, like in yellow and green and blue. It's all carried around. You also get a lot of these like um, cool like translucent pieces here. And this does spin. That's a play feature I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, as you can see, there's more great pieces. It really does look like, a, like an ice fortress, a fortress of solitude. And I really like how there's clear ones and there's a lot of like white bricks, like sloped and stuff. Looks very cool. Again, more of this like translucent pieces there. I love all these like huge like speakers on the side, as you can see, on each one. And you get these clear pieces here to like hang up the stringers, as you can see, with some stars on there, as well as there. And it kind of just goes up. And it's connected with these like cool, like, I think they're used on Spider Man. So that's cool. And then flipping it around before we do, I just want to show you, I love all the texturing they did here to kind of like give it like an angle. But flipping it around, as you can see, it's all this detailed. 
right here. Oh, I knocked down. That, that is very flimsy. But that one fell down too. Um, but as you can see, there's a little space to put Wonder Dog or a normal minifigure there, and I'll show you that right now. So as you can see, there's a little piece here that you can set Wonder Dog on. You just set him right um, there, and you can sit him there. As you can DJ the um, little DJ stand here. It looks very funny doing that. And then the other option is that I really like. Is you can, there's this piece here. You can just flip that up, and then there's just as you can see there, that little gap piece there. So you say you want another mini figure. Just put them like so in there. Slide them in the normal mini figure in DJ too. So I do like how they make that an option. But yeah, if you want to be accurate to the movie, technically the dog was um was DJing and giving you a better look at all like the little um, things here as you can see these two things are spe um, stickers but then these like ba um, Batman discs here are actually printed which is really cool and I like how the um, lever piece is there to act like it's playing it really cool and overall it's a really awesome build and for those of you wondering what the play feature of the set as you can see here there's this little knob here that twist and I'm um, spinning the set around here you can set a minifigure on the um, stand here and then you twist the knob back here, and the minifigure goes back and forth, kind of like they're dancing or anything that you'd like. Um, and yeah, you just twist back and forth. It's just with this little Technic thing here that connects. Yeah, you can spin the minifigure as much as you want. It's a pretty fun play feature. That's about the only one. One other thing I want to point out is that you get this really nice sticker up here. That's the 57th anniversary, annual Justice League anniversary party, which is really cool. It's two separate stickers, stickers though that kind of sucks. So you got a little gap there. But still, I really like how they included that. It's very accurate to the movie. Overall, this is a very awesome set. I really liked it. You get five amazing minifigures. I really love the Green Arrow minifigure, and all the rest are so awesome. It makes you just wish that you didn't get just, like, strictly Batman sets nowadays. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Batman. He's my favorite DC character. But I just wish we got more just random DC characters and sets nowadays. But nonetheless, this is an awesome set. I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. Lots of cool uh, play features and awesome minifigures. But yeah, that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this review. And just a reminder that I'm still hosting my Custom Lego Minifigure contest, and it's on July 8th. I have a short and a video if you want to see the full details on that. But that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and have an incredible day. Bye.